Um, uh, the, oh, right now. Okay. Uh, this is now very scary. This is now incredibly scary. If... No, just crit. Easy. Damn. Okay. Uh, so you have to break through here. Yeah, no, or that's heal. fine. We're good. I think if... No, okay. Okay. Just break through? Uh, oh, yeah, no. no. That, that's actually fine, because now Bide is going to release, and it's going to go to Chansey. Oh, thank you. Gen 4 mechanics, yes. So, Bide in this Clutch game hit. hits the Pokemon that last hit Pachirisu in this case. That's so good. So, we didn't really talk about Chansey too much, but Chansey has a couple moves. It has Soft Boil to heal itself, which we just saw in the last fight. It usually uses Egg Bomb. Uh, that's what's going to do if it's at full HP. Egg Bomb is a 75% accurate move, so it misses 90% of the time. <laughs> and then it also has Refresh to heal its status ability, so... So ever so slight optimization here. Um, the, you notice that first bit of is like level 14. This one's level 13 and thus is guaranteed to die to Ember. Uh, and all that does is save a few frames of text because Flame Wheel takes longer to print out than Ember. Yeah. <laughs> but that is worth mentioning because we just saved time. I have a question for you, Skoa. Do you cut the Wurmples? No. Did you cut the Wurmples? But what if I miss, them. Etchy? Don't, don't miss. It's so much time save. You don't get super effective text. I'm going to trust you here. I'm going to cut this wormhole. <laughs> if I miss, it works on both the if I miss, Just I don't swear. miss. Don't miss. You crit so many good things. I'm sure you won't okay. miss. There you go. It's fine. This is really dumb. It doesn't affect anything at all uh, in terms of the run. If you pick one of these berries, and you just have to get rid of it. It doesn't matter if there's one planted in its place. If you get rid of one of these berries, the tweak, uh, this tweak down here, if I was to have a berry picked there, and then I went back, as soon as I cross this line, the game will just crash. Can you show that? Uh, I can show that. <laughs> Hold on. You know what? Why not? Let's break my game. I'll just save. I'll, no, I will not save, actually. I will yeah, not save. Cool. <laughs> I'll just reset. <laughs> okay, so now that we've gotten rid of that berry, I believe that that's what um, causes this crash. So, as soon as I go over this, yeah, the game just yeah. crashes. Oh my gosh. Just instantly. In just a second. Uh, so I'm going to showcase the tweak first. Um, I'm going to wait for this jogger to get out of the way. So, yeah, oh you'll God. see the game lag a bunch there, and I'm now underground. And that allows me to escape these two ace trainers here. Now, um, important thing to note is if I was to go into this uh, gate right now, if I was to load the Pokedex, go into a battle, get an encounter, anything like that, uh, my game would crash. So, okay. So that's what the tweak looks like normally. Um where everything here, all the NPCs and whatnot have been turned into shadows. <laughs> and normally there's a rival fight outside the Pastoria gym and that allows you to just skip that fight completely. See we're now so, in the shadow realm, it's cool. No gym battle there. And, and uh, it turns other... out that even though the, so when you try to enter the Elite Four, there's a person that stops you to check your badges. Uh, even though they say all the badges, they don't actually check your badges. So even though we don't have them all, they just act like we do, and we just, they let us in, so. Because it's assumed that you're supposed to be, like, going through all these um, areas and not being able to progress exactly, until you yeah. do, like, a gym leader or whatever. Because so. no one would ever glitch in these games, that would be ridiculous. No, of course not. Guys are going to be here until I see everything and then go and get the national decks. Um, turns out you can just get rid of these guys. You can run that tweak. So I'll show, if you run it, uh, the guys just disappear. Or you can do it on the slow bike as well, if you're fancy and you're a bit faster. But it just, it makes the uh, entire world go black. I take to get to uh, Monferno before Roar. It depends, that's a good Oh, burn. yes. <laughs> that's so good. Um, if I have bad special attack, then I need Blaze in order to take a better fight. Otherwise, oh, what? <laughs> what are these rolls? <laughs> Yeah, I know, but see, there you go. There's the burn. Um, I well, should have saved a big fan. Surely I won't die, though. No, of course not. <laughs> just don't lose. I'll have to just play safe with my potioning. And it does enough damage against Geodude that it's worth it. 
Additionally, even if I had Rock Smash, both the Geodude and the Onyx have Harden, <laughs> and they could just undo the defense drops. Nice burn. That's actually a really good burn. I think I two-shot now. Yeah, you definitely two-shot. Oh. Maybe oh. Not. oh, you're going to prove me wrong, game, just for saying that, aren't you? <laughs> this is really going to happen. Oh. Okay. Nah, you're lucky you this time. Uh, the Zubat is the same as the Manipthrout, just spam embers and then kill poison at the right time. What are these wow. burns? Oh my god. <laughs> I have burnt literally everything that's like good to burn. Hopefully this dies now. That shit, that looks pretty good to me. There's no way this still doesn't die. We forgot that we've been in this situation like so many times in this run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure my attack is good enough. Played basically all of them. So I actually skipped Gen 5 entirely because I was like, oh, I'll just wait for Pokemon Gray version. And then they made oh, black no. and white too, <laughs> and I was so sad. I was like, all right, I guess I'm just not playing these games. 